Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will use Terraform to request a public SSL certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. Once we request the certificate, we will also use Terraform to validate that certificate in Route 53. To start, the first thing I want you to do is create a folder anywhere on your computer. I'll create the folder on my desktop. So what I'll do is right click, select new, folder, give the folder a name, call it ACM. Once you've given your folder a name, press enter. Next, open Visual Studio Code. Once you open Visual Studio Code, the next thing you will do is open that folder we created in Visual Studio Code. To open your project folder in Visual Studio Code, select File and select Open Folder. Browse to the location where you created your folder. I created my folder on my desktop. I'll select Desktop. This is the folder. I'll select it. Once you select the folder, don't click to go into the folder. Just select it, then click Select Folder. Once you have opened your project folder, you'll see the name here. Next, we will create a Terraform file in this folder. To create a Terraform file in your folder, right click anywhere in here, select New File, give the file a name. I'll call the file acm.tf. Make sure you have .tf at the end. Once you've given your file a name, press enter. Next, I want you to download and open the reference file I created for this lecture in this video's description. This is the reference file we will use to request a public SSL certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. And in this reference file, I've included the resource type and arguments that we need. I have also add notes here to explain what each syntax is doing. Select everything in this reference file. To select everything in it, I'll press Ctrl A, then right click to copy. Once you've copied the syntax, close your reference file and in your acm.tf file, paste it in there. Once you've pasted the syntax, scroll up. In order to create resources in your AWS account, first you have to authenticate. This is the syntax to authenticate with our AWS environment. And here you start with provider and the cloud provider we want to authenticate to is AWS. The first option is region. And this is the region we want to create our resources in. For this region, we will enter US East 1. The next option is profile. This is the name profile we configured on our computer that has the access key ID and secret access key that we will use to authenticate with our AWS environment. If you don't know how to configure a named profile, I will leave a link in this video's description that show you how to configure a named profile on your computer. For the named profile I configured on my computer, I called it Terraform user. So in here, in double quotes, I'll type Terraform user. We will use the next syntax to request a public certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. This is the resource type to request the certificate and this is the reference name I've given it. The first argument is domain name and this is the domain name you want to request the SSL certificate for. To complete this lecture, make sure you already have a domain name in your AWS account. For example, if I go to the Management Console. In the Management Console, I'll type Route 53 in the search box. and select Route 53 under Services. On the Route 53 dashboard, I'll select Hosted Zone. In my Hosted Zone, this is the domain name I want to request the SSL certificate for. Another thing I want to mention is, make sure you don't have an SSL certificate already registered for the domain name you are using. So if you have an SSL certificate already registered for this domain name, first you have to delete it. The next thing we will do is select this domain name, select it and press Ctrl C to copy it. Once you copy it, let's go back to our Terraform file. In my Terraform file, under domain name, we'll paste the domain name in here. So in double quotes, paste the domain name in there. The next argument is subject alternative names. And this is when you request an SSL certificate for your subdomain name. 
So if you want to use something like www.yourdomain name, that is a subdomain name. So here we will request an SSL certificate for our subdomain name. To request an SSL certificate for your subdomain name, first in this bracket, click in there, type double quotes, then enter a star and a period and paste your domain name after it. This is how you request an SSL certificate for your subdomain name. It is star dot your domain name. The next argument is validation method. And this is how we will validate that this domain name belongs to us. For our validation method, we will use DNS. DNS is when we create a record set in Route 53 to validate that this domain name belongs to us. So here in double quotes, type DNS. When you type DNS, make sure you type it in all caps. The next argument is lifecycle, create before destroy. Here we will type true. So this next syntax will allow us to get the details about our Route 53 hosted zone. Remember, we already have the domain name in Route 53. And to get the information on any resource you already have in your AWS account, you use data source. So here we've specified data source. And the data source we want to get is AWS Route 53 zone. This is how you get your hosted zone information from Route 53. The first argument is name. And this is the name of the domain name we are getting the information on. So here in double quotes, I'll paste my domain name in there. The next argument is private zone. For this, we will type false. To validate that the domain name belongs to you, AWS Certificate Manager will give you a C name. And you have to add that C name to your record set in your Route 53 hosted zone to validate that the domain name belongs to you. This syntax will allow us to add the C name that was given to us by AWS Certificate Manager in our Route 53 hosted zone. And in this syntax, this is the resource type to create a record set, and this is the reference name I've given it. For the values in this syntax, we'll leave them as the same. The only thing you need to change here is your AWS Certificate resource type and your reference name. If you change your reference name here, you have to enter it here. So here, I want you to copy the resource type and the reference name for the resource we used to request the public certificate. Copy it. Once you copy it, come back down here. We are going to replace this. Make sure you replace the star too. I just used the star to show you what you need to replace. So paste it there. Remove the double quotes here. Add a period. Come to the beginning, remove the quotes and come to the end, remove the quote too. This is how you enter it and you leave everything else as the same. So this means that when we request a public certificate from AWS Certificate Manager, AWS Certificate Manager will give us a C name and Terraform will use that C name to create a record set in Route 53. That is what this syntax is doing. The next argument we have to enter is the zone ID. Remember, we have to create a record set in Route 53. And this is how you tell Terraform in which Route 53 hosted zone you want to create the record set. To enter your zone ID, remember we use data source to get the information about our hosted zone up here. So what you would do is copy everything here and paste it here. Then remove the quotes, add a period, come here, remove the double quotes, add another period, and at the end, add another period. The attribute we want to reference is zone ID. So here, type zone underscore ID. The last syntax is used to validate the SSL certificate. This is the resource type to validate an SSL certificate. And this is the reference name I've given it. For the first argument, we have to enter the ARN of the SSL certificate we want to validate. Remember, we created our SSL certificate up here. So here, we'll copy the resource type and the reference name. Once you copy it, come back down, paste it here. Remove the quote, add a period, and come all the way to the end, add another period. And the attribute we want to reference is the ARN, type ARN here. 
The next argument is validation record FQDNS. For this value, you will leave it as default. This is how it was entered in the Terraform documentation. The only thing you need to change here is your reference name for your record set. Remember we created our record set up here. So whatever name you gave your reference name, that is what you have to enter here. So to make sure, just copy your resource type here for the record set and the reference name. Copy it. Then come down here. Replace everything from the start to the start. Paste it there. Once you've pasted, all you have to do is come here, remove the double quotes, and type a period. This is all the syntax we need to write to request our SSL certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. The next thing I want you to do is save your work. Select File and select Save All. Once you've saved your work, the next thing we will do is open the terminal. To open the terminal, right click on your file name here and select Open in Integrated Terminal. Once you open the terminal, the first command we will type is Terraform init. Once you type Terraform init, press enter. It is now initializing with my AWS environment and I'll wait for it to initialize. There you go. I have successfully initialized with my AWS environment. Once you have initialized, the next command we will type is Terraform apply to create the resource in our AWS account. Once you type Terraform apply, press enter. When you type Terraform apply and press enter, the first thing Terraform will do is show you the plan. And the plan contains what Terraform will do in your AWS account. So here for this plan, Terraform will create four resources in my AWS account. And if you scroll up here, you will see those resources. Once you've reviewed the resources Terraform will create, come back down. Here Terraform is asking you, do you want to perform these actions? We'll type yes. Once you type yes, press enter. Terraform is requesting the SSL certificate in my AWS account. I'll give it some time to finish requesting it. Terraform has successfully requested the SSL certificate. Let's go to the management console to verify. In the management console, type certificate manager in the search box and select certificate manager under services. In the certificate manager console, this is the SSL certificate we just used Terraform to request. And under domain name, this is the domain name we requested it for. If you select this SSL certificate, here the status is issued. Under domains, these are the domain name we requested the certificate for. Anytime you request a certificate from AWS Certificate Manager, to validate that the domain name belongs to you, AWS Certificate Manager will give you a C name. These are the C names. And all we have to do is add the C name as a record set in our Route 53 hosted zone. Let's go to Route 53 to verify that this C name is there. Type Route 53 in the search box. And select Route 53 under Services. On your Route 53 dashboard, select Hosted Zone. And select your domain name. In our domain name for the records, you can see the C name and the value for the C name, which says ACM Validation AWS. We have verified that our Terraform syntax has request a public certificate from AWS Certificate Manager and also create a record set for the C name in Route 53. The next thing we will do is delete this resource. To delete it, let's go back to our Terraform file. In the terminal, type Terraform Destroy to delete the SSL certificate we just requested. Once you type Terraform Destroy, press Enter. When you type Terraform Destroy and press Enter, the first thing Terraform will do is show you the plan. And here, Terraform will delete four resources from our AWS account. And if you scroll up, you'll see the resources Terraform will delete. Once you've reviewed the plan, it is asking you, do you really want to destroy all resources? We'll type yes and press enter. And there you go. Terraform is deleting the SSL certificate from my AWS account. This is how you use Terraform to request a public SSL certificate. 
and create a record set in Route 53 to validate that the domain name belongs to you. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.